Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a nighttime routine for our six month old Sebastian. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right on in. We usually start Bash's nighttime routine around 6.45 because we aim for a 7 p.m. to 7.30 bedtime. Bash does get a bath every other night and just before his bath time, he and Brandon can normally be found having their guys time in the playroom. And I am usually setting things up and getting ready for the bath. We use two washcloths for Bash, and he does have his own baby towels, but tonight he is using one of ours. And then I turned on his 3-in-1 aqua scale tub, and we love this tub because it also gives the water temperature as well as his weight. Unfortunately though, I think he is outgrowing it at 6 months. Once I'm finished setting up in the bathroom, I usually go in and join them in the playroom and we have some family time before we get the bath started. On this night in particular, I could tell that Bash was getting tired pretty early. We did have a very busy day, and so we went ahead and started bath time and getting ready for bed before 7 p.m. So Brandon and I tag team bath night. I usually handle everything on the front end, so I get him undressed and I bathe him and Brandon handles the back end by physically putting him to bed. Once I get Bash into the tub, I give him some toys and I typically let him splash around a bit before I start, but this night he was not interested in his toys, he was very tired, so I really didn't waste much time getting started. I shampoo Bash's hair probably twice a week and tonight we're using the Aveeno Baby Shampoo. I also like to use Shea Moisture Baby Shampoo as well. And the bubbles in the tub are the Aveeno Calming Comfort Bath for babies. And now I'm just going to soap him up and when I'm done, I will drain his little tub, rinse him off with clean water from the faucet, and then take him out. As you can see, he was starting to get pretty antsy and he was ready to get out of the bathtub, so I knew I did not have a lot of time.
but even through all of that he does always have a smile on his face and he just makes me so happy. After his bath I lay him on his changing table and I dry him off and just talk to him and try to keep him calm since it is almost time to go to bed and this night I tried to give him a pacifier since he was starting to get whiny and surprisingly he took it. Then I just give him a fresh diaper and start to put on his body lotion. While I was pregnant, I read about the importance of giving a baby a massage at night, and so I try to do this after every bath and just kind of pamper him before he goes to sleep, and I think he really does enjoy it. After I finish applying his lotion, I dry his hair, and then I put on his sleeper. <laughs> and yes, these are holiday pajamas, and they go up to nine months, so he will be wearing them until then. And before I take him off the changing table, I just suction his nose out with a bulb syringe. After I turn out the light, I rock him and nurse him one last time before he gets put in his crib. While Bash is eating, Brandon fills up the humidifier. He does this every single night. We use the Pure Guardian Cool Mist humidifier, and then he puts it back and turns on the sound machine. We always have our sound machine set to white noise, and the brand is My Baby. By now, Bash is usually finished eating, so I say my final good nights to him, give him one last kiss, and tell him how much I love him before turning him over to Brandon to finish off his nighttime routine. From here, Brandon usually takes over and he will read to him and rock him, however, Bash was exhausted by the time we were finished with him and was just ready to go to sleep. And you may find this odd, but the final thing we do is put him in his crib and then put the sleep sack on him. 
If you're wondering why we do this, it is just a useful self-soothing technique that we learned and it works very well for bash. Then I just close the blinds and the curtains and try to make it as dark as I can for him before walking out. Once Bash is down, I go back to the bathroom to clean up. I wring the water out of his washcloths. I squeeze the excess water out of his toys. And then I dump the water that didn't drain out of the tub. And finally, I just pop on over to the playroom and put away the toys that were left out from earlier. Brandon is usually really good about helping put away the toys, however for obvious reasons, I put them away tonight. So that wraps up our nighttime routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check the links down below and I will see you in our next video.